Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be talking about Chaos Gate. I've recently sat down with the developers of this game. I've got a bunch of new information to share. I've got the release date of the game to share. And also, as you're going to be seeing in the background, a bunch of new footage to show off as well. Because the game, for me, is looking absolutely incredible. So let's jump in and let's get talking. Now, just to make sure we're all up to date on the same page, I'm just going to explain what Chaos Gate is. So Chaos Gate is going to be another turn-based tactical game set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe in this game you play as a grey knight strike force that must eliminate a horrifying nurgle induced plague known as as the blue. As you'll be seeing later on in the video, the squad that you'll be commanding can be fully customizable, different weapons, different armor, there's all different type of powers, everything you can possibly think of you could take with a Grey Knight Force, it's probably in this game. Did I also mention there's also going to be a Primark in this game? Yes, Mortarian will appear in this game for you to purge. Now let's of course start with probably the biggest news is the release date. So I can now confirm that Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate will be releasing on May the 5th, 2022. That is on PC via the Steam and the Epic Game Store. Now there's going to be two versions of this game for you to buy. There's going to be the standard version and there's also going to be the Castellan Champion Edition. Now the Castellan Champion Edition states this includes the original soundtrack for the game and also the character Castellan Garen Crow who will be joining the game's campaign part way through the story. Now as a 40k fan one of the things I love above anything else is customization and this game has it all. This is what we live it for, right? To be 40k fans. This is why we make our armies. We don't care about the rules. They can take a walk. We want our armies to look absolutely badass. And as you can see from the background of this video, the customization you can do is fantastic. You can change the name, surname, the crest, the skin color, the hair color. There's different head options, head details, headgear, chests. And um, you can do different pauldrons, uh, your greaves, your loincloth, even your voice if you want to change your bloody voice. Um, on your character so it's always fantastic to see something like this so I can go in and I can personalize my own squad so they can look like I want them to look like if I want them to be I don't know just like all bald guys warrior monks and stuff with the most deep darkest like awesome voices in the Imperium I can do that you know I can go in and modify it to the way I want it to do and it just adds a little bit more flavor a little bit more fun when you actually play with them characters on the battlefield. Now, as you can see with the gameplay in the background, the game itself, I personally think, looks absolutely beautiful. The environments look very, very nice. The models look nice. Just the destruction. Like, look at the little fire and stuff. It, it just looks beautiful. The enemies even look really, really nice as well. Now, when it comes to playing this game, I, like I said, it's a turn-based game. So the way you actually do things is through action points. So, for example, moving forward is an action point. Doing a certain weapon attack is an action point. You only have a certain amount of action points that you are given per turn. So you have to use them wisely. You don't want to run all your guys forward, then have no action points to actually shoot the enemy, and you're out in the open. On the subject of enemies, while we're here, this game has a lot of things for you to fight against. Yes, I mentioned the Mortarian's going to be in there, but there's a whole arsenal of other Nurgle threats, such as Pockwalkers, Hellbrutes, Plague Bearers, Plague Marines, there's Blight Lord Terminators, Mythic Blight Haulers, Apostate Preachers, um, Bloat Drones, um, and of course, this is all set now within this new thing, what they call the Bloom. If you don't control the Bloom, it will grow out of control, give buffs to the Nurgle forces in that sector. So it's really down for you now to get in there and purge chaos as fast as you can. Now, one of the cool things how you go about purging the bloom is with your ship now the way you deploy to certain systems is through the star map which again you're going to be seeing in the background of the video but the ship itself has been damaged so you have to spend your requisition at a good pace you know you can't just go in there and blow it all on the ship because then your actual 
actual warriors will be down on buffs and everything like that. So you have to have a balance of upgrading your ship. When you upgrade your ship, like for example, you can fix the engines, then you can get to different bloom locations faster, help then to purge that sector from the bloom, which will then mean that Nurgle is at a disadvantage maybe in your next encounter. Now, of course, as I mentioned with the requisition, you get this from actually playing the game. So the more you play, the more you purge, the more enemies you kill, the more systems you rid, the more requisition you can get to spend. Now, of course, this requisition can be spent on many different things. Firstly, you can actually be granted more warriors, more rewards for your warriors. So additional Grey Knights, um, master crafted weapons, and um, different types of armor, specialized war gear, all to make your chaps bigger and better on the battlefield you can actually even go in and like spend it on abilities for each of your grey knights which again you're probably seeing in the background of the video right now now another thing you can spend your resources on which i think is kind of cool is the liberus malleus now this is where the inquisitor a part of the story is stationed on the grey knight ship and in this place there's actually like a skill tree for you to invest in so if you can see in the background now, you can research different paths to take, which then helps you fight against this new bloom. It gives you buffs, bonuses to fighting against Nurgle on your missions. Now, something else you can actually bring from this... Now, something else you can actually bring in the game is stratagems. And again, you acquire the stratagems over the course of the game. You are limited to how many stratagems you can bring to an actual game as well. Like, you can't bring all the stratagems because that would be highly broken. But you can see two of the examples that we actually have in the background. So, the strength of spirit all nights gain plus 50 crit for one turn. And, of course, the other one is target a knight who gains two plus action points. So, these stratagems are kind of like the tabletop they can help you in your battle against your enemy add a little bit more dynamic to the game and also a little bit more strategy to bringing down your enemies now just before i close this video down i just want to show you this clip which i absolutely love so the gray knights are fighting a hell brute and as you can see he's got one of his brothers wrapped around in his claw and he actually targets the hell brute's arm and cuts off the tentacles freeing his brother like the lengths the developers have gone to to add like little tidbits like this to the game i think is absolutely fantastic and again it looks nice it looks beautiful like look at this weapon fire now look at it it looks absolutely gorgeous even the tentacles even on the floor are still being moved around with that side cannon the game is a beautiful beautiful game like this four strike now when he comes in and he takes it down bang there we go it's dead but because it's dead and it's blowing up you know everyone around it is about to get hit and you see all the grey knights fly everywhere all right chaperoneers that's enough waffling from me as always thank you for coming thank you for watching if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that post it down below if you've got any questions post it down below i'll do my best to try and answer said question of course there's a bit more information i have but i just thought i'd cover like some of the main things in this so if, if i can answer it i will answer it anyway have a great day i'll see you all soon and bye bye